The U.S. Supreme Court ended its term today with a landmark decision on presidential immunity. The decision has a direct impact on former President Donald Trump's current legal troubles. Nadia Cavazos reports from outside the Supreme Court. In a 6-3 opinion, the Supreme Court ruled Monday the former presidents have absolute immunity from prosecution for official acts related to their court constitutional powers. But the court said there is no immunity for unofficial acts and gave some guidance on how lower courts can draw that line. For those things that are just within the president's ambit, absolute immunity. For official acts in general, at least presumptive immunity. For unofficial acts, no immunity. Former President Donald Trump has repeatedly argued that he had absolute immunity. You have to give a president full and total immunity. In a scathing dissent, Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote about the potential dangers of this decision on U.S. democracy. The ruling affects special counsel Jack Smith's prosecution of Trump for election interference for his role in the January 6 assault on the U.S. Capitol. The case now goes back to the lower court which you will have to look at what acts are official and what are unofficial. There is an enormous amount of legal work that is now going to have to unfold over the next several months. By waiting until July to issue their ruling, the justices have severely reduced the likelihood of Trump standing trial before the November election. Now, today's ruling follows another Supreme Court decision regarding January 6th. On Friday, the high court said the Justice Department overstepped its bounds when it charged hundreds of accused rioters with obstruction.